the question is find the equation of the line L through P326 and Q minus 104 in vector parametric and Cartesian form well first let's figure out what it means by the equation of a line a line is a set of points and each of those points has coordinates and the equation of a line is, which a, is a rule which tells you if a point is on the line or not by telling you about its coordinates. Okay, let's start with the vector form. Alright, well the vector form writes a point on the line as a formula that combines vectors. So my line starts at P like this and it goes through Q like this and PQ is this vector here now I can get to any point on that line by doing multiples of that vector PQ so I could do you know half of PQ or minus PQ starting at P and so that would produce all the points on my line. And so I can write every point on my line as P plus some multiple of PQ. And that would be our vector form. So PQ is terminal point minus initial point. So Q minus P. So minus 1, 0, 4, minus 3, 2, 6 which is minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Alright, I don't like that point, mainly because it's got too many minuses in it. But I could still get to every point on that line by doing multiples of any vector that pointed along the line. So I could use half of PQ or minus a half of PQ as my vector to add on because I'm doing multiples. So I can still get to all the same points. So let's do minus a half of PQ, which would give us 2, 1, 1. All right. So the vector form is... vector form of the equation is P which is 3, 2, 6 plus multiples so T of 2, 1, 1 uh, for T a real number so that's the vector form of my equation Right now let's do the parametric form. The parametric form aims to give you a formula for how to figure out the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate, and the z-coordinate, all in terms of some other um, parameter called t, which is why it's called the parametric form. So what we want to do is we want to say that a point x, y, z is on the line, and then um, we can write the x and the y and the z in terms of something. So let x, y, z be on the line. All right, well then x, y, z is equal to 3, 2, 6 plus t, lots of 2, 1, 1 for some t which is 3 plus 2t 2, 2 plus t 6 plus t so my parametric form is that x is 3 plus 2t y is 2 plus t and z is 6 plus t so parametric form of equation is x equals 3 plus 2t y equals 
2 plus t z equals 6 plus t 4t in r I might just circle my answers so we can see where they are Okay, so the Cartesian form, instead of telling you what each of the coordinates is, the Cartesian form gives you an equation or a few equations so that when you sub the coordinates of a point in, the equations will tell you whether the point is on the line or not. So if the coordinates of your point satisfy the equations, it's on the line, and if the coordinates of your point isn't satisfying the equations, then it isn't on the line. Okay, so we actually need to basically eliminate t from our parametric form to figure out what the equations are. Well, from the y equals equation, I get that t equals y minus 2. Okay, so that means that x is equal to 3 plus 2 lots of y minus 2. So x is equal to 3 plus 2y minus 4. So x is equal to 2y minus 1. And I also get that z is equal to 6 plus y minus 2. So z is equal to 4 plus y. So I have two equations, x equals 2y minus 1 and z equals 4y plus 1. Traditionally, um, you write the equations with all the variables on the left and all of the numbers on the right. So we can um, have them very easily that way. So let's get our Cartesian form. Cartesian form of equation is, so rearrange that one, so we have x minus 2y equals minus 1 and z minus y equals 4. And so that's the Cartesian form of my equation. Now you might worry that you could have um, come up with some very different equations in probably all three of those if you had um, done something different. So for example in the Cartesian form if I had used the z equation and gotten t is equal to z minus 6 I would have come up with completely different equations but that's okay because in fact there's a lot of different pairs of equations that describe that line. Any one pair that actually works is fine as your answer. There are multiple answers but you only have to give one. So let's have a look at what I've got. I've got the vector form, I've got the parametric form, and I've got the Cartesian form. So I have answered the question. <laughs>